With no end in sight to the conflict in the Middle East, Israel is prepared to protect its interests in the Mediterranean with a strong and modern equipped naval defense force. I recently visited the Israeli naval base in Haifa, home to Israel's missile boat and submarine flotillas, and I spoke with Major Karam, deputy commander of the logistics fleet. Lee. For me, it wasn't easy in the beginning to enlist in the Navy because as a person of a minority group, I had to fight to get in. I had to fight to serve the country. As a citizen of this country, I think everyone has a duty to serve. Major Karam is not your average Israeli military serviceman, lawyer, former company commander of the IDF's officers training course, and current commander of the entire logistics array in the northern naval arena, Karam is also a Christian, in fact the first Christian ever to serve in the Israeli Navy. Major Karam is one of a steadily growing number of Christians who volunteer to serve in the Israeli Defense Forces. Israel welcomes their presence. We need so much people like this soldier in the Army of Israel. So I'm sure that the future we found more and more Christian to, to become and serve the Army. However, encouraging Christians to serve in the Israeli army has inflamed members of the Arab-Israeli community who cite its potential to weaken and divide the Arab sector as grounds for concern. Undoubtedly, no one feels the scourge of opposition more than Father Gabriel Nadaf, founder of the Israeli Recruitment Forum, a Greek Orthodox Arab-Israeli. Living under constant death threats, Father Nadaf has rigged his home with 24-7 camera surveillance and is cautious when moving about. I caught up with the church leader at his home in Nazareth. The Israeli recruitment forum emerged to encourage young Christians to enlist into the army so that we can better integrate into the Israeli society. The Christian sector should give back to the country. But how do Jewish soldiers feel about fighting shoulder to shoulder with Arab Christians? This is with the with the with our uh, chief of staff. Chief staff. I'm also uh, the company commander in the officers' college. Here I am. It's at the college army. It's, uh, it's, it's not for the Navy, it's for all Sahal, all, all the army. Right. And they don't have any problem with the fact that you're not... No, 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 they respect me. Yeah. They know. They respect me, I respect them. Okay. More than ever, service in the Israeli Defense Forces presents real risks of injury and loss of life. In facing these dangers, the Christian Major draws strength from his faith. I say, in the end, everything is written by Jesus Christ above. Everything is written by the Lord. If it is written that I should risk my life in exchange to protect the citizens of Israel, if I am required to do that, I will do it. As Israel is being forced to think long term in relation to its national security, having Christian soldiers serving alongside Jewish Israelis has bolstered Israel's ability to protect itself in the increasingly hostile neighborhood of the Middle East. Marnie Blom, Axe News Network, Haifa, Israel. Axe News Network. From Jerusalem the city to the nation. This morning, Hamas fired a rocket the that news. hit the school. What's North really African important? It's now 80% of the council's plane. resolutions are against Israel. Visit Axe News Network. Accessible, informative, inspiring. Future peace negotiations, you know, Jerusalem is so central to the Jewish people. Celebrating life, preparing for war. Axe News Network, online with the Times.